Good morning and welcome to Frank's School. A six year, 155th day first and only video. Decentralist goat graining. I just love the name. I, I decided, hey, I'm gonna, it has, it, it, it might seem like it has nothing to do with uh, what I've been teaching about or discussing, but the decentralist kind of gives it away. Uh, <laughs> when I feed my goats, uh, I, I had figured out that, that, that whole uh, kernel of corn, not, not ground, uh, or, or roll, just just current. Uh, what do you call it? Shelled shelled corn. Uh, that that's fine for goats. They can chew it up, and I think it's better because if you grind it, then there's that dust. I guess it's probably corn starch uh, laying around and stuff, and the rodents uh, come for it, and it gets wasted. So I just scatter uh, shell corn around. Uh, the trouble is, uh, goats are smart. They're really smart. They've, they've come to recognize one of these, and if I'm holding this, they know there's corn in here, unless there isn't, in which case they don't smell it. They're, they're so smart, it almost scares me uh, how smart they are. And they know me. Uh, if somebody else were there, they wouldn't act the same way. They know me. And they know my voice, they know the way I move, my body language. And anyway, when they're gonna, I use the, I wouldn't have to use the corn at all, probably, but it keeps them tame. I mean, if I call them, they come. And I can manage them that way a little bit. Uh, that's, that's why I have it more than anything else, and there's a horse there, too. Well, anyway, I had figured out that, that there's this rough concrete up by the barn that was brush, brush finish, broom finish. My grandpa had done it for 50 years ago, more almost say 60 years ago, but it's always been covered over because I haven't been able to get stuff clean enough. I haven't been able to catch up and sort of do the archaeology to reveal everything that he had done or had been done before. But anyway, that rough concrete is just what their feet need. Uh, the more they walk on that, the better uh, because because of their hooves. Uh, I had been feeding down in the other barn where the where the concrete was was smooth. I, I'd sweep it all off and then I'd scatter the shell corn and they'd go around for it. Uh, so that's, uh, but, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna use a trough. I, I built four troughs. That way it's not scattered everywhere. That was the mistake. And there's where centralization comes in. It took a while. I mean, it seemed like it worked pretty good. I'd fill the troughs and they'd all go after it and stuff. But uh, after a while I realized, no, no, that's not a, so good an idea. And I took the troughs out, and that's where the decentralization comes in. It is so much better. I mean, I go out carrying this real high, and mostly they're smart enough to realize they're not going to get it when I hold it real high. But some of them jump up on me, and when I got 23 goats, uh, you know, I, I get trampled to death for a little bit of corn. Uh, but anyway, uh, when I take a lid off, and uh, now I scatter it, and what a difference. It's decentralized, <laughs> the grain, so they don't fight for the trough. You know, they, there's even jokes or sayings about pigs uh, and, and, and the trough. When you, when you feed pigs, you about always, I don't have any pigs but yet, but you almost always have a trough, and the pigs, they fight to see who can get in the trough. So it's better with no trough. Uh, that was the that was the thing. Another thing too, I go through a, a gateway. I don't have the gate there yet, but I go through a gateway and it gets narrow. And it's kind of the same situation. They know I'm going on the far side, so a whole bunch of them all want to go through the gate at once. I think of uh, what was his name in All in the Family? Uh, oh, Archie Bunker and, and his son-in-law Meathead always going through the door and jamming. But it's like that when you get a whole bunch of goats around you, though you kind of get taken through. Um, like a wave. So I don't have that completely solved yet, but uh, the, the thing to do would be to, to feed from the other side of the gate, uh, other side of the fence, but I don't have the gates built yet. See, my infrastructure is not ready, but I do the best I can. That would be the best solution, because from the safety of outside the gate, I could throw the corner around, but I want it to land on the concrete. Anyway, I'm telling you about this, maybe partly just to give you a vision of me surrounded by 23 goats all trying to kill me. Well, no, no, they're not trying to kill me. They, they want the corn, but in the process. Um, but I almost think it's a metaphor for our culture. There's another case, and I think there are probably many, where decentralization centralization becomes a problem when everything is gathered into one spot. Sometimes you need it. 
to a certain extent. You, you need that, yes. But it can become a problem. And a solution sometimes is to decentralize it. <laughs> so there you go. That's kind of different. Bye for now.